Whether it's a door that's not closed properly, or the dreaded check engine alert, those dashboard warning lights or how your car talks to you, when something goes wrong, they light up every time you start your vehicle, just giving you a quick check, to make sure everything's good to go. But if you don't know what those warning lights mean, or if you choose to ignore them, a little problem can quickly turn into a big, wallet draining, and maybe even dangerous situation, even the smartest car. Owner can struggle to figure out, what those lights are trying to say, there are three major color lights in the car, each light talks about different problems. Green or blue lights, if you see a green or blue light, it's all good, it means the system is on and working just fine, think high beams or cruise control, no need to stress, these lights are just giving you some info. Yellow or orange lights, when you spot an amber or orange light, while cruising, it's like a gentle nudge from your car saying, hey, I might need some TLC soon. It's a heads up that your vehicle will need some service or repairs down the road. Don't panic, these warnings aren't as urgent as the next ones I'll mention, for instance, it could be telling you that, your engine coolant level is low, or that something's up with the engine. Red lights, red lights mean business. If you see a red light flashing on your dashboard, pull over as soon as possible, and figure out what's going on, ignoring a red dash light is a big problem, my friend, it could lead to some hefty repairs or even accidents, some red lights are all about safety, like reminding you to buckle up, while others scream mechanical trouble, like low engine oil pressure or a faulty braking system. So my dear car owners, now let's see, what are the common warning lights on your car's dashboard, you should be aware of. Number 1, Check Engine Light, let's start with the worst. The check engine light is usually, in the shape of a silhouetted engine, or sometimes it's even harder to miss the capitalized check engine message, this is the one car owner who hates it the most, it looks scary, but this warning light has more, than one possible meaning, as it could be anything related, to your car engine and exhaust system, the potential problem could be, as small as a loose wire, a loose or damaged gas cap, or a faulty oxygen sensor, or something much more serious and, Wrong with the engine itself, if the check engine light comes, on while driving and everything seems fine with the car, don't panic, but don't ignore it either, take the vehicle to a mechanic, to run a diagnostic test and fix the problem, since 1996, every new car and light truck, sold in the United States, has been required by law to be equipped with an onboard diagnostic, OBD, system. This is a computer that monitors emissions levels, and other main engine components, it's easier to find a, problem, with an OBD scan. Something as simple as tightening the gas cap could solve the problem. It also prevents an emission-spitting vehicle from driving without the driver knowing there's a problem lurking under the hood. There are many reasons why the check engine light may come on. Some of the most common reasons include loose or damaged gas cap, faulty oxygen sensor, malfunctioning catalytic converter, damaged spark plugs or ignition coil, failing mass airflow sensor, broken or damaged vacuum hose, malfunctioning EGR valve, and faulty thermostat. Number 2, Battery Alert Warning Light. The battery warning light on a car's dashboard is designed to alert you to a problem with your vehicle's battery or charging system. If your car battery light comes on, when you start the car, you're safe. It is perfectly normal for this light to come on. When you first turn on your car, the light goes out after a few seconds. If your low battery warning light comes on while driving, it means your battery is no longer being charged by the alternator and is only running on its own charge. This means your car will only run on battery power, which will eventually run out and bring your car to a standstill. An illuminated battery light can be due to several issues, including a loose or corroded battery cable, a problem with the alternator or voltage regulator, damaged cells or plates in the battery, faulty wiring in the car's electrical charging system, a battery light on the dash basically means there is a battery charging problem. Your car is not getting enough voltage from the car battery to function properly. Number 3, Engine Temperature Warning Light. The engine temperature warning light, which looks like a thermometer, or simply the word temp, illuminates when your vehicle's engine is running at a temperature that is too high. In other words, your engine is overheating. If your vehicle's cooling system is working properly, this should never occur. However, a problem with the cooling system or low coolant can cause the engine to overheat, which leads to engine damage, since an overheated engine can cause major and often irreparable damage, you should act immediately, typically, this light gives you at least a brief warning of a serious problem, watch the light closely for the next mile or two, and if the warning light does not go off by then, stop and turn the engine off. Number 4, Transmission Temperature Warning Light, the transmission temperature warning light indicates that, the internal pieces of your gearbox are reaching a critical point, 
which can lead to transmission failure. If the light comes on, you have to be cautious and avoid steep grades or stop and go traffic. The ideal maximum transmission temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and for every 20 degrees above 200, the lifespan of the transmission is reduced by a factor of two. This might be caused by excessively heavy towing, low transmission fluid levels, or more seriously, excessive wear on the inner workings of the transmission. The urgency of the situation can be determined by the color of the warning light, with red indicating a more urgent issue that requires immediate attention. Number 5. Oil Pressure Warning Lights Generally, an oil pressure warning light looks like a genie lamp or an old-fashioned oil can. This warning light indicates there is a problem with your engine oil. It could be low engine oil or low engine oil pressure. In the system, this light comes on the dashboard when the oil pressure in the engine is dropped to a low level and it could be a serious issue. If the oil pressure warning light comes on, it is best to turn off the vehicle and not use it. Until the problem is fixed, driving with low oil pressure can quickly destroy the engine. It is recommended to allow the car to sit for at least 10 minutes before checking the oil level while parked on a semi-level surface. Number 6. Tire Pressure Warning Lights The tire pressure warning light is an indicator that your tire pressure is too low or too high. The light is usually yellow or amber and resembles a cross-section of a tire with an exclamation point and or the letters TPMS. If the light comes on, it means your tires could be underinflated, which can lead to undue tire wear and possible tire failure. You should check your tire pressure and inflate or deflate your tires as needed to bring them within the recommended range. However, most passenger cars will recommend 32 PSI to 35 PSI in the tires when they're cold. Number 7. Brake Warning Light The brake warning light on a car's dashboard can indicate one of several things. The most common reasons for the brake warning light to turn on are that the parking brake is engaged or the brake fluid level is low. The brake warning light also turns on if the brake pads are getting too worn and need to be replaced soon. If the brake warning light comes on while driving, the first thing to do is to carefully pull over in a safe area and turn off the car. Then as soon as possible take it to the expert mechanic and repair it perfectly. Traction Control Malfunction Warning Light The traction control malfunction light illuminates when there is an issue. In the traction control system, it indicates that there is an issue with the traction control system which helps to keep the vehicle in control. If one or more wheels lose traction while driving, the light may come on due to various reasons, including a defective ABS system, wheel speed sensors, or reductor ring. While this won't affect your everyday driving, you should get it checked soon to make sure your vehicle will operate safely in inclement conditions. Number 9. Airbag Warning Light The airbag light indicates that something is wrong with one of your airbags or the entire airbag system. This means that it's probably not safe to drive with the airbag light on. After all, if the airbags don't deploy and you get into a crash on the way to get it fixed, you'll be at much greater risk for injury or death. Diagnosing the cause isn't always easy, so it's best to let the experts handle it. You should get your car checked out immediately. Your car's airbags keep you safe during accidents, so make sure they are working properly. Number 10. Anti-Lock Brake System Warning Light ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System and when the ABS warning light comes on in your car's instrument cluster, it means that the anti-lock braking system has been deactivated due to a malfunction. Your car's regular brakes should work fine, but the anti-lock brakes, which prevent the wheels from locking when you brake, don't work. If your vehicle has stability control and traction control, these will also be disabled, as these systems rely on the same wheel speed sensors as the anti-lock braking system. The four most common reasons that usually cause this light to come on are a faulty ABS module, low levels in the fluid reservoir, faulty wheel speed sensors, or the system is off. Number 11. Low Fuel Warning Light An illuminated dashboard light in the shape of a fuel pump lets you know that your fuel tank is almost empty. The low fuel warning light has one purpose, to let drivers know their fuel tanks are getting low. When the yellow gas pump symbol lights up, you need to drive to a gas station and fill up your fuel tank, your car's drivability will not be affected, and you can still drive safely, just don't plan on driving too long, you don't want to find yourself, out of fuel and stranded. Number 12, Automatic Shift Lock or Engine Start Indicator Light, the automatic shift lock light, is an indicator of your car's shift lock, release and automatic transmissions, this light is also known as the, Engine Start Indicator Warning Light, it has two purposes, it indicates that you need to apply the brake, to start the vehicle's ignition or shift out of neutral. 
Number 13. Security Indicator Light. The security indicator light illuminates when the key is out from the ignition switch. This means that the immobilizer is active. This prevents the engine from starting. If someone tries to steal your car, some cars also have an alarm system. When you put a key in the ignition, the key's chip is checked. If it matches the security system code, the security light will turn off and the immobilizer will be disabled. If it keeps flashing, something is wrong. With the key or the security system, when the vehicle is stationary, follow your vehicle's instructions for disabling the security system. If it's a malfunction, your security system won't work properly until you have it repaired. Number 14. Washer Fluid Indicator Light The washer fluid indicator light is a dashboard warning light that lets the driver know that the windshield washer fluid is low and needs to be refilled soon. This light is usually yellow and has a windshield icon on the car's dashboard. You have to keep fluid in the reservoir. To prevent it from drying out, if you notice that the windshield washer fluid reservoir is low or empty, refill it with windshield washer fluid, which is readily available at almost any gas station or auto repair shop. Number 15. Lane Departure Warning Light The lane departure warning light is a safety feature in vehicles that alerts the driver when the vehicle is detected to be moving out of its current lane without signaling. The warning is usually a flashing indicator or a beeping sound from the corresponding side. Some systems may also vibrate the steering wheel or driver's seat gently. The light may be steady black and white if the lane keeping system is not ready or green if the system is ready. You may gently turn the steering wheel. If the vehicle drifts out of its lane, the system detects the lane markers using cameras or sensors and alerts the driver when the tire touches the lane marker. Now guys let us know about car dashboard safety symbols. Dashboard safety symbols are indicators that appear on a car's dashboard to warn drivers of potential problems or safety issues. These symbols can include warning lights for low fuel, low oil pressure, tire pressure, and engine problems. Red symbols typically indicate a serious problem that requires immediate attention, while yellow or orange symbols may indicate a less urgent issue that should still be addressed. As drivers, you have to familiarize yourself with these symbols and their meanings to ensure your safety on the road. Number 16. Power Steering Warning Light The power steering warning light is a red or yellow steering wheel, often accompanied by an exclamation mark on the car's dashboard. The light warns the driver that the power steering system has failed and needs to investigate the cause. The cause may vary depending on the type of power steering system in the car. If the power steering warning light comes on, it is best to pull over once. It is safe and investigate, continuing to drive with a failed power steering system can cause safety risks and make the car difficult to steer. Number 17. Seatbelt Warning Light The seatbelt warning light is an indicator that shows whether a passenger is wearing their seatbelt properly or not. The light should go out once the seatbelts are securely fastened. Number 18. Parking Brake Warning Light The parking brake warning light is a dashboard warning light that illuminates to indicate that the parking brake or emergency brake is set and must be released before driving. Depending on the vehicle brand, it can be either red or orange. Number 19. Master Warning Light or General Warning Light The Master Warning Light is a light that notifies you about a problem in one or more of the vehicle's advanced systems. A detailed system message appears right after it in the car information display, and it is often accompanied by other warning lights. The vehicle's make and model will determine what the Master Warning Light signifies and what could have caused it to come on. Number 20. Side Airbag Off Warning Light the side airbag off warning light is located on the instrument panel. When the light illuminates, the passenger side airbag is temporarily deactivated. The passenger side airbag turns off when the front passenger seat is not occupied or when the passenger is not sitting in a safe position. Number 21. Reduced power warning light. The reduced power warning light shows that something has reduced the flow of fuel or air to the engine. It often turns on when a car needs maintenance or repair and doesn't mean your vehicle is about to break down but it could be a good time for an oil change. Number 22. Traction Control Warning Light When the traction control light flashes or remains on, it means your tires are losing contact with the road, wet, icy, or dirty road conditions may cause a vehicle to lose traction, activating the traction control system to stabilize the vehicle and illuminating the traction control light as a warning. This helps the car to maintain traction and stay on the road. If you see a TCS light on your dashboard, it means there is an issue with the traction control system. Number 23. Steering Wheel Lock Warning Light An indicator light means your steering wheel is locked and cannot be moved. The steering lock indicator light is different from the power steering warning light, which indicates a real steering problem. So don't confuse them. The steering lock warning light should only come on when the ignition is switched off and the lock is engaged. If you see it lit at any other time, have the car checked by a qualified mechanic.
Number 24, Electronic Stability Program, ESP, Warning Light. The Electronic Stability Program, ESP, Warning Light indicates, there is a problem with your electronic stability program system, or you are driving on a slippery surface, this light may come on, when driving over a slippery surface, or when the car loses traction, if the warning light is flashing. It means that the ESP traction control is working to stabilize the vehicle. If the light stays on or flashes on and off, it may indicate a problem with the system, such as a malfunctioning steering angle sensor or brake pedal switch. Number 25, Child Safety Lock Warning. The Child Safety Lock Warning Light on the dashboard indicates that the child safety locks are active. When the child safety locks are active, the rear doors cannot be opened from inside the car, which is intended to prevent children from accidentally opening the doors while driving the car. To turn off the child safety lock warning light, you need to turn off the child safety locks. Number 26, Catalytic Converter Warning Light. The Catalytic Converter Warning Light is designed to warn the driver that the catalytic converter is either overheating or not working as intended. The interior of the catalytic converter consists of a honeycomb design that increases the contact area with the air. Number 27, Low Brake Fluid Warning Light. This warning light means that the brake fluid level in your car is low. This could be possible if you have a leak in the braking system or worn brake pads. If the warning light comes on, you must stop in a safe place and check the brake fluid level. If it is low, you can top it up with the correct brake fluid. Number 28, Brake Pad Warning Lights. This warning light means that the brake pads are worn and should be replaced soon. It can also come on when the sensor in the master cylinder detects an insufficient level of brake fluid. The light is usually indicated as a circle in dotted brackets. If the light comes on, have the brake pads checked and replaced if necessary to ensure proper braking and safety while driving. Number 29, Brake Lights Warning. This dashboard warning light will appear when your brake light bulbs are defective or blown. You should first check your brake light bulbs to see if they are working properly. If the brake light bulb's not working, you should change them with a new one. Number 30, Automatic Transmission Warning Light. The automatic transmission warning light means that there is a problem with your transmission. This could be caused by many reasons, like overheating, low fluid, internal transmission failure, or shift interlock issues. If the warning light comes on, then the first step is finding a safe place and pull over to avoid any further damage. One's vehicle is parked. Check the transmission fluid and conditions, and also scan your car computer for any code to determine the causes of the issue. Number 31, Air Suspension Warning Light. If you see that air suspension warning light pop up, it's a sign that something's up with your air suspension system. It's usually because there's a leak or some problem with how it's inflated, basically. If your car's computer detects anything funky going on, it'll trigger that warning light. Chances are, one of the airbags might have sprung a leak, or maybe the compressor isn't pumping out enough air as it should. If you spot that warning light, it's a good idea to take your ride to a trustworthy repair shop and have them give it a once-over. They'll be able to figure out what's going on and get your suspension back in tip-top shape. I hope every car owner has understood what your car's warning lights are warning you, and don't underestimate if any of these lights are showing on your dashboard. If you like the video, then please share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon, so you will be able to get a notification of my latest video.